Sems in politics at long last. Who'd have thought it? The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, in his most comprehensive remarks on the issue of trans and women's rights, has said that he does not think that, quote, biological males should be competing in women's sport and that there should be spaces dedicated to women in places such as prisons and changing rooms. There was once a time where a remark this banal and self-evident would not have warranted a single headline, a single column or even so much as a footnote in any major newspaper. A more sensible time, if you ask me. But here we are. Type Boris Johnson into Google this morning and the top news story in all the major papers is this one. And you know what? I'd like to thank the Prime Minister for these words and I think millions of other women would too. Because Boris Johnson's counterpart, the leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, a man who could just be one general election away from being one of the most powerful leaders in the world, is still struggling with the concept of woman. Speaking about a week ago in a radio interview, Sir Keir Starmer refused to answer the question of whether a woman can have a penis. Asked to define what a woman is, he said that it was both someone who was biologically female and also someone who identifies as female, a definition which makes the term woman completely redundant. Asked by a member of the public whether it was fair for biological men identifying as women to compete in women's sport, Starmer had this to say. That's for the sporting bodies to decide for themselves. What a cop-out, what a spineless position to hold. A man who wants us to believe he deserves to lead the United Kingdom on the world stage cannot answer basic biological questions and wants to shift the responsibility of dealing with the issue onto someone else. That's not moral leadership. And whilst moral leadership are not exactly words I would ever associate with Boris Johnson either, on this issue, just this once, I'll make an exception. Because any leader who thinks it's OK to be impartial on the issue of protecting women's athletics, on safeguarding women's spaces and, quite frankly, on fundamental biological questions, is a massive red flag, in my view. You simply don't get to sit on the fence on this one if you want to represent this country. And you don't get to play Russian roulette with women's safety and fairness for women. So here goes. Rare words I thought I'd never say. Thank you, Boris Johnson, for showing moral leadership and speaking with conviction in defence of women.